See it, Michael. We have two options: either you kill me, or I kill you, or we could watch Halloween Resurrection and then just both kill ourselves. This is my real Halloween costume, Chris. What do you, how do you feel about this? It's perfect. I felt like it was. This it is, is literally you. Yeah, I don't even have, I ran out of popcorn. I really wanted it to use as a prop, but we don't need it. Uh, but anyway, hey there guys, how are you? And today we're talking about Halloween Resurrection because we felt like watching the worst Halloween film ever made. It is definitely the worst Halloween film. Uh, look no further. This is the worst. This is the bottom of the barrel. This is as far down as you can go in regards to these movies. The film stars Busta Rhymes <laughs> and Jamie Lee Curtis dies within the first six minutes of the movie. She does. A contractual death. She didn't want to be in the movie so bad, she said, kill me instantly, please. Yes. Yes. She wanted out of the franchise. She didn't want to have to do this anymore. And then she did it again in, uh, this year. <laughs> This is like that late 90s, early 2000s MTV horror movie with rappers and like Tyra Banks and techno themed like technology horror because we were like experimenting with what we could do with like computers and movies. Yeah, the entire premise is you have all these really unlikable characters and they're doing a really shitty web based reality show, oh. which which Buster Rhymes says almost 1,000 people will watch. <laughs> and I, I can tell you today that that's not a lot of money. It's On YouTube, <laughs> that's about 14 cents. <laughs> so like, good job, Buster Rhymes. He's like popping champagne with Tyra Banks. He's like, we're going to make so much motherfucking money. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're not. You guys have like two people watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then your video gets demonetized. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it gets demonetized. So this is, without a doubt, the worst Halloween film ever made. And I remember watching this film in the theater back in 2002, and I, I have not seen the movie since then, and I think for a good reason. But tonight, it was everything I wanted it to be and more. It's what I needed. Yeah, I saw it for the first time at home, um, and I remembered nothing. I remembered nothing about it at all. I, I remember seeing clips of it on TV, like it would play on TBS or something back in the day, and I remember like scrolling past it and thinking that it looked bad even back then. Uh, but watching it now, I it is fucking funny. Like it is really hilarious. It's comedy gold. It's a great comedy. It, I mean. <laughs> Busta Rhymes has so many horrendous lines that are absolutely incredible. He made the movie for me. He Without did. Busta Rhymes playing that character, this movie would just be a boring slasher movie from 2002 with stupid <laughs> people in it. Right before he's about to launch everyone into this, this house, Michael Myers' house, and he has that horn, and he's about to do it, he's like, let's get started with this dangertainment up in this motherfucker. Let the dangertainment begin out <laughs> I was like, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. It's, it's this I, is this is perfect. I feel like that was him improving because he just says mother he he mumbles he whispered it. He whispers a lot of like softly little words after his lines are done. And I think that's like almost a um 
It's like a, a reaction that he instantly has every time he gives one of his lines. It's like a reflex. I think he wrote, I think he performed some of the lines, like you said, and then every once in a while he'd just be like, motherfucker, at the end, just for fun. Like oh, he I saw Pulp Fiction one too many times and thought that would be like the best thing to do. And it was. Y'all do what the fuck y'all gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like how Jamie Lee Curtis kissed Michael Myers and then fell to her death? After she says, I'll see you in hell. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, she falls to her death, but it's about six feet <laughs> in the sky. She just... It kind of looked like... <laughs> it's one of those... The opening sequence in this film, Michael Myers has an afro. He does. And then, and then, then it's gone, and then it like pops back again. It's it's phenomenal. I think they, they must have done some reshoots or something in there. Like, um, There's this horrendous shot that, that so screams they didn't get it all and had to mess with it in post. And it's when he's trying to break through her door. It's a POV shot that comes up towards the, the circular window, and then you hear a pounding sound, but the image just goes like a like yeah, a like, like an, an earthquake, earth, like an earthquake, an iMovie yeah. earthquake effect had yeah. been added. And then he burst through the door like uh, uh, Daniel Craig in Casino Royale. Yes, uh, <laughs> just like I'm here, and like, then like the Juggernaut. It was atrocious. I mean, I I look, I knew this movie was bad. You know, like I, I've seen it when I was a kid, and and I people have talked about this movie and how terrible it is for years, but sometimes when you watch something like this, especially since it's the director of Halloween 2, you start to wonder how. Like, wasn't someone there at almost every moment saying, that's horrendous, that looks horrible, why are you using these terrible, like, you called it when we were watching it, Logitech webcams. The half of the movie is shot with Logitech webcams <laughs> in 380p, and if half even. And, and half and squished and squish and the other half of the movie is um post converted slow motion shots yeah. that are very distracting a lot of slow mo you take those out you would have saved 15 minutes of the movie it yes. would have just cut the runtime completely off let's talk about the fact that everyone in this movie is a fucking creep and everyone is essentially a date rapist or a molester of women Every, every man in the movie, every two seconds, I mean, it's produced by Harvey Weinstein. So His name like, was in the credits. So. so it's not much of a surprise, but like every chance a dude has, there's like a guy with a camera and he points it down a girl's blouse. He's like touching her ass. At one point, he, he just starts touching her shoulder. Yeah. Like inexplicably yeah. for no reason. And I'm like, this is just weird. It reminds me of an MTV show uh, that came on in the 2000s and it was called Fear. And they'd have contestants go to scary locations with cameras attached to their bodies really? and record that. it. So this movie was essentially just a ripoff of that with Michael Myers in, in it. Speaking of Michael yeah. Myers, why is it so hard for some of these, these Halloween films to just get the look of Michael Myers right? He either looks like he bought his costume from a child's store or, yeah, no, and... Hardly, I think in two movies they they nailed it. The first one, and I would say the second movie. The second movie, yeah. yeah. H two O, he looks absurdly bad. He's about five foot three. Yes, he looks like a small boy, <laughs> a little boy. Right. right I right. mean, yeah. it's in this movie. Like, uh, they give him eyebrows. His eyebrows were always spray painted white in the first. Mm -hmm. He has like this this full like head of hair these flowing brown locks he got a makeover he's trying to look sexy and he looks clean he looks polished and clean he looks apparently according to this film he's been living in the myers basement eating rats for like 25 years or something good protein you're really gonna tell me that he looks like he just walked out of a, like the laundromat it's just hey. i it's so easy to get the look of myers right dude. serial killers gotta look good too chris it's true now, would you like to know an interesting fact about this movie, Chris? Please lay it on me. Um, the trailer of this film was actually released in theaters alongside Jason X. What a perfect companion piece. That right there really defines horror in the early 2000s. It does. That, that was the genre. That was as good as they could do. It's like they had just run out of ideas. It, it, I, feel, I feel like from John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween film... All the way to the early 2000s, Hollywood was, they lost their mind. They went through like the 1980s, they made a bunch of slasher yeah. movies, 
in the 90s, Scream was like, all right, let's parody this and have some fun. And then they they lost their mind. <laughs> they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And thank God indie horror came along and saved us. But um, Well, let's talk about a few of the phenomenal scenes throughout this film. Please do. There's one scene with a guy in a kitchen who picks up two knives and he's chopping away at Michael Myers. Don't fucking kill me! Come on, come on. You like sushi, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> but that's really not the best scene in the film, even remotely. Uh, most of them are, are delivered by Buster Rhymes who kind of just appears in the film like out of nowhere like they just called him up and said hey we need you today and then he just appears wearing a michael myers mask and uh yeah he, he's gonna walk around and, and i guess scare these people while filming them with webcams make tons of monetization money and become rich which is his, his big plan with tyra banks with tyra banks nevertheless um and the thing i hate the most about this movie is it's, it takes place in a house mm-hmm and no one ever tries to escape. Like the lead actress, she gets out on the roof and then she actually climbs up higher and goes back inside. Yeah, the doors I think were locked, but it seems it's like- It's just, this, it's a broken down- You just open- Well, not only that, this house was like in a neighborhood, right? Yes. There are tunnel systems under this house that make Wayne Manor look small. Like there's tunnels, it's almost like a fortress of caves and subway systems and- where did all of this come from? I do not know. Um, it looks like a castle yeah. underneath this the, the Myers house, which is just like on some suburban road somewhere. Again, this house is destroyed. Okay, it's been vandalized for decades. Yeah. There ain't no way that you're going to tell me these kids can't find a way out just because the door's locked or bolted or something. Yeah, well, with all that said, let's talk about Kung Fu. Yes, uh, they set up Buster Rhymes' arc. We'll call it his arc. His Early arc. on, he's sitting uh, in his hotel room watching a kung fu movie, and he's like, "Yeah, you kung fu, I love kung fu." And then the girl comes, and he's like, "Oh shit!" And he like gets up and walks to the door. <laughs> he's really pissed. He gets up and walks to the door, and uh, apparently, he really loves kung fu. When they're done with the conversation, that, when they're done with the conversation at the door, he's like, "Oh yeah, my kung fu movie," and he goes back to watching it. So at the end of the movie, he can do straight up Neo from the Matrix poses. Yeah, motherfucker! And have a kung fu battle. That's his finishing move. He kicks him through a window. Michael Myers instantaneously somehow hangs himself. <laughs> That's right, he does. And because why? Because no one get, gave a shit when they wrote this movie. No. Um, yeah, I, I loved it. But you know what? That's not even my favorite Buster Rhymes scene in this film. What's your favorite? When he's impersonating Michael Myers, it's almost a very improv scene, or at least it felt like. I can't imagine someone actually writing those words or yeah. typing them. I left the back door unlocked for your ass to go out the back into the garage. That's what I did. And then Michael Myers just looks at him and turns away and walks out of the room. He does. <laughs> like, Michael Myers in that scene was the audience for this movie he was just he just walks away silently i mean i uh i don't know what happened with this film it, it's it's considered a joke by most including mm -hmm. jamie lee curtis it's it's not a film that i would ever recommend really a bit beyond like some hilarious jokes like to make fun of, but it's just, it's kind of mind boggling that, that like this much money was poured, poured in the movie. I looked at the budget, $15 million. It looks like it was shot by amateurs one weekend in a house. And somewhere. half of the movie is shot with webcams. Where did the money go? I, I want know. to know. Buster Rhymes bank account. <laughs> you know, it, it might've. Cyber banks. It, it may have, but then you have the ending of the movie. <laughs> and that is a thing of beauty. Now, I read that they shot multiple endings yeah, for, for this movie, and it makes you wonder, was this, this was the best one? <laughs> this was the one that, that got finalized? What did Buster Rhymes say when he looks at his charred body? Looking a little crispy over there, Mikey. Like some chicken fried, motherfucker. This movie's awful. It's terrible. I hated it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as always guys happy halloween thanks for joining me clint east i meant chris stuckman you're welcome and make sure you guys subscribe 
That way, I can see you next time. That was a bad Arnold impression. I mean, I've heard worse.